Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, we will be seeing how to take a very poor looking product shot and turn it into something much more professional like this. We will be taking the help of two AI tools here, Mocker AI, which you can use for free up to 20 generations. And we'll also be using a completely free AI tool called Focus AI, which works with stable diffusion. I'll talk more about these when the time comes, but right now, before we get started with Mocker, first of all, since we have this image which has this bad looking hand on it, we're at least gonna remove that. And for that right now, I'm gonna use Photoshop. But once I'm done with this process, I'm also gonna be showing you how you can use Adobe Firefly for this, which you can use for free. So this is our image here. We need to just get rid of the hand. So first of all, we're just gonna crop this image. We only want the bottle because this is a very common problem that you can face when you're trying to do this because oftentimes you will be holding whatever product you're doing this for in your hand is just easier to shoot it that way. So right now what we can do is take one of the selection tools inside Photoshop and just make sure you basically stick close to whatever you don't want. Don't go too inside the bottle. So let's say this is one part which I wanna remove. And then I'm just basically gonna do the same thing on the finger since I need to add to the selection. I'm just gonna hold down shift and just don't take too much of the bottle. And just to save time, I'm just gonna do the same thing for the rest of the fingers and then let's meet there. All right, that should be enough. And in the generator fill contextual taskbar, we can just type in remove. You could have also used the remove tool for this, but I just find generator fill it just makes it easier and does a better job usually. So let's wait for this. So we got our three results. You can see all three have some sort of a thing added to the right. So we can always just hit generate again and let's wait for the next three. And this time you can see that the third result that I've got, this is pretty good. We only have this issue with the shadow and something has been added. That's not gonna be such a big problem because we can always, right now, first of all, let's open up a new layer. Let's stamp everything onto this layer using the shortcut control command alt option shift E. And in this layer, we can simply take our object selection tool and just select this bottle because then we can just delete that background. And you can see we've got this. We can open up a layer mask and hide the layers underneath. So we basically get just the bottle and the empty background. And now we can export this as a JPEG image. So this is the image that we have got. And now I'm just gonna quickly show you how you can use Firefly also to do the same thing. So if you go to firefly.adobe.com and you do create an account, you can do this 25 times. So you do get 25 credits per month for free. And then once you're here, you can basically go over to the image tab here and then select generative fill. Let's upload that same image here. And in a similar way, you can just use the, either the insert tool, which will be similar to using you know, if I just zoom in, it'd be similar to using generative fill like this. And then you enter in the prompt which said remove. Or here you also have the remove tool. Again, just like Photoshop, you can even if you want, you can just remove it directly. Also, you can try which one gives you the better results. But the process will remain the same. Now let's move on to the next step where we start using Mocker. So once you go over to Mocker, the link is given in the description, you can create your account. And the first time you do that, you're gonna get 20 free credits. So you'll be able to use it to generate 20 images. As you're gonna find out, it's very, very reliable. So you will just consume max to max one credit because in the first go, it will give you a good picture. So you can hit this button that says create with Mocker and then it'll ask you to create an account. So I'll meet on the next stage. And once you've created your account, it's gonna ask you to upload your product photograph. So we're gonna upload that particular bottle shot. And right now it takes a lot of time after you uploaded the photograph because it analyzes your image and it tries to suggest some of its own templates for the product shot. But first of all, this takes a long time and usually the recommendations are not that great. So what I would suggest is you can just hit skip because we can do this easily on our own. So I'm just gonna hit this again. And the moment you hit skip, you're gonna be redirected to the mocker main dashboard where you get this canvas and you can start to visualize your product shot. And here, what we can do is we can select a template. So if we go over to templates, we, we have a lot of ready-made templates here. You can even search by different categories like studio, outdoor. And even though some of them are specialized for certain type of products, don't be hesitant in using it for, let's say, a product like this, because you can always add props and change a lot of things like I'm just gonna be showing you. 
But one of the things that I like to do is instead of just hunting for a random template is to reverse the process and see what the product is about. So let's say that this is a strawberry juice bottle, okay? So then what I usually like to do is using that keyword as like to search for the template. So for example, we can search for strawberry and you can see we've got just one of them, but this also looks pretty good. So once you're happy with the template, you can just click on it and it'll ask you to replace the template. We can do that. And you can see on this canvas board, they start to show you like the rough design, which you can, uh, you know, move around, you can delete, uh, copy, paste, you can do anything with because each element here is like a prop. So I talked about props earlier, if I want to add something, I can also add to it. For example, I can if I wanted a banana here, I can search for a banana, and I can add those here. Also, I can delete this, change anything that I want. One of the things that I will change right now is probably the size of this bottle. So just slightly reduce it and just place it right here. And I think overall this design looks fine. You can even add some lighting styles if you want here. I'm going to stick to the original and you can also add some things on your own prompt. Now, if you really want to see how to do all this in detail, I've got a separate video which is dedicated to Mocker. The link is hovering on top. I will also leave the link in the description of the video. And that's where I explain all these basics in a much more detailed manner. But to be frank, it's not rocket science. You will be able to figure it out. Now, we're all set to hit generate but there's just two things that you should always do when using mocker one is if you go over to studio options make sure images generated is selected to one otherwise remember you only get few amount of credits it'll just unnecessarily give you more generations and you'll end up consuming the credits so i like to keep this at one and secondly they have two models of generation like the ai models one is the baseline one is the iris iris gives you way better looking images more real looking images so i always like to select iris and that's it you really don't have to do anything else if you're happy with whatever your rough sketch is right now you can hit generate photos one of the downsides as i've shown in my videos of uh, mocker is that uh, it's not very good at showing you the rendering process here because you feel like nothing has happened after you've hit generate. So you can just refresh this page and you can see that now it will start to reflect here. But again, it's going to be very, very slow. So what I would suggest is just wait for 10 seconds more and again, refresh it. And now you can see that our product shot here is ready. And you can see that this looks really, really nice. If you're not happy with something, you can just go and hit recreate scene because what I feel here is that the bottle is too big. So I think I would just like to decrease the size further. And you can keep trying because we do have some credits. So let's just hit generate again. And now if we see the second result, I think this just looks much better. So you can see here, this looks really nice. Now the only problem with Mocker is it's very good at creating these elements, the background, the overall look of the shot. But of course it doesn't change anything on the shot. And one of the things that was really poor in this original shot was that the lighting wasn't really good. So we're also going to use Focus AI now to make this slightly better. Also when it comes to selecting the final shot, what I like to do is at least try and change around some things, maybe play around with some prompt, add something to the prompt. And then finally, after around generating this around six to seven times, take a final call and select a final shot. For me, it was this one. So I'm going to proceed with this image. The next step is going to happen inside Focus AI. So in case you don't know how to install Focus AI, it's completely free. It takes less than 60 seconds to do that. I have a separate video, so you can watch that setup video. The link will be given in the description. And once you followed that, you will see a screen like this. You can hit input image. And this is where we're just going to improve some of the things in that particular shot. So I'm going to upload the winning shot here. I've also provided that shot to you in case you directly want to use that. All right, so we have our shot here. Now what we want to do here is two things. One is we want to improve the look of this bottle so that these bad looking reflections at least get reduced and it looks much more smoother. And also, if you just notice here, these details need to be improved because if you see a zoomed in version of this shot, you can see that it has a bit of artifacts, noise, and uh, some of the edges are really soft. So we're going to basically correct the bottle and the surrounding elements. So first of all, let's correct the bottle because this is very easy to do. It's just going to take a few clicks. We can hit uh, so once we have uploaded this uh, image in the in paint or out paint tab, we're going to hit this option that says enable advanced masking features. And right now we're going to generate a mask for the bottle so that whatever changes we make only apply to the bottle. And this is very easy to do. 
We're going to use the mass generation model, which is called SAM, which is segment anything model. And under detection, we're going to say red bottle, because this will just help us generate a mask only for the bottle so that when we type in something in the prompt here, it only affects the bottle. And you can see that the SAM model has done a pretty good job. Now it has selected an additional bottle, even though this bottle wasn't red, but that's not a problem. We are mainly just going to make it smooth. So even if it makes this blurred bottle behind smooth, it's not really a big deal. And what we're going to do is under the in painting method, we are going to select improve detail because we don't really want to change anything in the bottle. This bottle should remain as it is. Only some details have to be improved. So we have to do this in a less aggressive manner. And that's why we don't choose the default in paint or out paint method. The second one is what we select, just improve the detail. And I tried a lot of different prompts for this, how to make this slightly smoother. And the one that came out on top and gave the best result in this particular case is plain smooth red surface. So here in the in paint additional prompt, I'm just going to type in that. And that's about it. I really don't need to do anything else. I can just now before I hit generate, just one thing you can hit the advanced tab. Uh, make sure performance is set to quality so that we get the best possible image here. One image should be fine. We really don't need to generate more than that. So one should be fine. And output format, I'll just like to select JPEG. Generations are faster with that. And then we can just hit generate and let's wait for the result here. And you can see that it has started doing its work. You can already see that it is really spreading out that light, just like if you really had put a soft box on the flashlight, this is exactly what you would start getting. So let's wait for the final result. And you can see that we've got the result now. If I open this up, you can see that this just looks overall much better as compared to this type of a reflection. Of course, if you want to try more, you can set the image number to a higher number and then you'll get different variations. But once you have found out your winner, what you can do is uh, you can just close everything here because we don't really need anything right now. And you can drag this image, the winning image down here. And remember, our second task was to just make these elements which are around the bottle slightly sharper. So one of the ways to do that is to simply start just painting over manually because this is easy to do. And then again, use improved detail. Okay, so you cover everything up, use improved detail and type in something like make sharper or add details. This is one way. And this is going to work in a very local way. But if you're willing to take a slight risk, and I'll tell you what the risk is, you can actually do this much faster by not using in painting and rather using the upscaling tab. So if you open in the upscaling tab, we can just drop that winning image here. And let's say I can upscale this image by 1.5 times the size. What this will do is it will incre dramatically increase the quality of the image because it's going to upscale it. It's going to improve the details. Everything is going to look much more sharper. The risk, like I talked about, is that sometimes it produces a bit of changes in the image. Now, that is a big problem when we're dealing in portraits because if the face changes, there's no point in doing that. But in shots with inanimate objects, like in product shots, even if some things change a bit, it's not such a big deal. So I always say that with these kind of shots, you can take this risk because then you don't have to do any sort of manual in painting. And with a single click, you will be able to get the job done. So here, if I have upscale selected, I can just simply hit generate and let's wait for the results. All right, so you can see the changes in place. Yes, it is changing the bread a bit, these things a bit, which doesn't really matter. The edges of the bottle seem a bit different, but as long as the overall shape is there, we don't mind. So what we're going to do right now is I'm just going to wait for this to finish. And then like, I'm directly going to show you both the images side by side so that we can see how they compare with each other. All right, so this is the image without the upscaling. And after the upscaling, you can just see the difference. So if I start moving this slider, this is going to reveal what the upscale image looks like. And you can clearly see that now the details are just way, way better again before just had that artifact noise type of soft look, or just see after. And now it has produced some changes, right? You can see, but like I said, in these kind of shots, I don't think it really makes a difference. And overall, it just dramatically improves the quality with a single click. So you can see that we took a really poor looking shot and we were easily able to get a professional looking product shot. In case this video helped you out, do give it a like. And if you want to follow along all my experiments with the different AI image generation and photo editing tools out there, then make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.